Hi everyone. Um, this is another one of my um poems, which is called "Original Me." I done at an Original Me conference in Dothan, Alabama, at the Dothan Kingdom. Uh, this poem is you no. Know, it's one of my favorites because this takes me back to my original self, the the person that God intended me to be, the person that, you know, um, I was destined to be from birth. Uh, but, you know, we all go through trials and tribulations. We all go through things so that we can grow. And if there wasn't, if it wasn't for trials and tribulations, then um, there was no point of living because how would we know how to grow? How would we know uh, what trouble was um, so that we can overcome things? So um, this is basically, you know, like I said, one of my favorites, and it will be the last one for tonight until tomorrow. Um, but this is called Original Me. You know, like I always say, give me your feedback and, your, you know, any comments you have. And, you know, I gladly appreciate it. Finding me was a milestone and accepting it was a struggle. For seven years, I've learned so much to life with obstacles I had to juggle. My mind was not designed to figure out life downfalls, but my intention were to bury every stumbling block and tear down every defiant wall. Choices have never been a friend in my book because I always fell for first come, first serve. Now that I'm more patient, I'm willing to stand on God's powerful word. When I think of how I was created, I seem to think so highly of myself through God's eyes, but choosing my words carefully and still remaining wise. God established a brilliant child on the inside and the out, so the enemy tried to take that away, but I was given another route. When God touched my mother's womb, he said intelligent, outspoken, survival, but anointed above all things. This child will be blessed to reach many and perfecting a lot of dreams. This child will be blessed to move a congregation with her word. This child will be a witness of greatness singing and not from what she heard. Her gifts will be her talent that others can also have, but it will be something divine about this child child that the enemy would try to grab. I will bless her with those very words while adding motivated, determined, and also her own boss. The enemy will try to attack her because a mighty warrior will be his loss. She will fall victim in his trap, but that's just her test. She has to overcome. If she too shall trust in me, I'll bless her with works of fire and then some. My reason is now, and I declare and I decree every word that has been spoken. The favor over my life was given to me as a token, giving you that extra luggage. I carried for all those years. It came with the fee. But what's, a, what's better than losing people who didn't believe in my talent or did not agree? It feels good standing in front of a mirror and confirming the original me.